Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm the Senior Growth Marketer here at Six and Flow. And today I thought we would design an outreach strategy and automate it with sequences. Sequences are a HubSpot sales hub and service hub pro feature. So keep that in mind when you are uh, designing your outreach strategy. So with the sequences tool, you're gonna navigate to automation and then sequences and create one. With the sequences tool, you can send a series of targeted timed email templates to nurture contacts over time. You can also automatically create tasks to remind you to follow up with your contacts, which I'll show you in a second. And when contacts reply to an email or book a meeting, they will automatically unenroll from the sequence. You'll likely use sequences mainly to follow up with prospects. However, they are flexible and can be applied to multiple different stages. They allow you to automate repetitive, low value tasks, such as, like I mentioned, cold outreach to prospects, but also reconnecting with unverified marketing leads, reconnecting with unresponsive leads, or even booking a demo with a hand raiser. HubSpot offers some pre-built templates, which you can see here. Some of them include recent conversation, sorry, recent conversion, event follow-up, product or demo request, et cetera. So if I click on one of these, you'll see that HubSpot again has populated um, some templates. So let's create sequence. So because they're based around templates, we recommend taking the opportunity to edit them and add some light custom customizations for every contact that you enroll. This can be done with automated emails or manual emails as well. You can add customizations here through personalize, contact, company, sender, or placeholder, which will insert a placeholder token like you can see here. We recommend your sequence to be more than just email follow-ups. And that can be done by adding here, automated email, manual task, call task, generate task, or if I were to have LinkedIn Sales Navigator, an in-mail task or a connection request task. The more personalization you add, such as a video, um, personalizing more than just their name, so adding context to the email, the more likely that you are to generate a conversation. And once you understand the building, blo building blocks of a sequence, it'll be pretty easy for you to create any for pretty much any use case that you might have. So that's pretty much that. Um, if you have any questions, let us know and good luck.